Hello, so today I'm going to be doing some diamond painting because of the lovely people over at Spell Queen who have been kind enough to send me some free kits to review. I've been really excited about making this video so let's just dive into the unboxing. Now first off I have to say that these are already opened but that's because I had to open them just to make sure that everything was there and it was so that's good. But yeah, I'm actually really impressed with all of the tools that they have supplied to me. Uh, I have basically everything that you need to get started with diamond painting. All of these tools do feel really high quality, especially those tweezers, they were amazing. So now that we have all of these tools here laid out in front of us, let's have a look at these diamond paintings and see how they compare. Now we have quite a few diamond kits here to have a look at and let's have a look at the first one. I actually really like the design of this one. It is a really pretty portrait of a deer with some flowers in its antlers. Pretty cute. The second one is a small one. It is actually very adorable. It is a little one with uh, sunflowers all over it. And this third one is a nice starry night scene. Those little ones are really cute and I can't wait to get into making them. But this one here is the star of the show. This awesome diamond company has actually agreed to make me a custom uh, diamond painting of my own artwork. If you've been around on my channel, you may recognize this art as an artwork that I made in a challenge video recently. But before we dive into that big, beautiful diamond painting, let's start off with a few warm ups. I really like the idea of these little ones here because the colors look really nice and it is quite pixel art-esque and I love pixel art so much. But I also just really like the size of these because one, they're gonna be quite easy to finish and they remind me of little photos, which I just love. Now, first impressions, pretty good actually. I really love that these uh, diamonds are actually already pre-packaged into little zip seal bags with labels on them. With a lot of diamond kits, you have to actually do this yourself because they're sort of packaged in just little packets that you have to rip open. So it's very convenient that they're already like this and it saved me quite a lot of time actually. And yeah, these two small diamond paintings actually took me a few hours each and they were quite fun for a little warm up. So here's the results for this one and I really love how it looks and just the aesthetic of it and how it looks like pixel art. I just think it's really cute. The colors are just really, really nice and I love how it just sparkles in the light. So let's try this second diamond painting here. Now this one's actually the same size as the first one but it is landscape orientation instead of portrait and it is one of my favorite artworks, Van Gogh's Starry Night. When I seen this one available, I just had to pick it because I really love the look of this artwork as well as just how cute and small and pixel art feeling it is. I love it. Now the drill shape I picked for this video was uh, square because I just feel like I really like the square drills compared to the round ones. I feel like it just covers more of the canvas and it covers pretty much all of the canvas because they sort of fit together nicely and it makes me feel a lot more like pixel art than the round ones. Now one thing that actually surprised me was the colour of the drills were actually slightly different to the colours on the canvas so that like surprised me a little bit but Towards the end, it does look just like Starry Night, except, you know, diamond art and, you know, pixely, but that's what I love. I also just really love the look of this diamond painting being made in like super high speed. I actually had to speed this footage up quite a lot to get this effect, but I think it looks really cool. Just saying. Now 
Now here's the results of this one and I have to say I really like the colours in it. It really does show the sort of swirly sky background in the small details that you can get with these. Now here's the time for the big guy. This is probably the largest diamond painting I have ever completed and this one took me quite a while but I have to say I really like all of the different colours in this. I sort of picked a minimal colour palette artwork on purpose so that I could have all of those shades of different shades of orange that would fit really nicely with the you know pixel art style that it has. I tried to go with minimal colours so that the colours that it did have shined through and I feel like that worked pretty well. Now I started off with the top area of this diamond painting and I completed it in sections mainly because I did not want to peel off all of that plastic and have it exposed to the air and likely to get my palms and arms stuck to and you know dust and just stuff from the air. I wanted to protect those so that it stayed sticky. So I used some scissors just to cut that plastic in, you know, different shapes, usually just like squares or rectangles or bars across the whole artwork and just add diamonds to those areas because it was a lot easier than doing the whole thing at once. And I have to say, one of my favorite parts of this artwork is actually the background, because if you look closely, a lot of the background light colors could have been white, but they're actually not. If you look carefully, they are like very, very pale pink and very, very pale yellow. And those sort of add really subtle uh, details to the background, even though in the artwork, you could barely see those. I feel like they could have just made those areas white, but since they didn't, it just adds a lot more depth and a lot more color to the artwork. So I'm, I'm really happy with that. <laughs> and I actually feel like that's because I chose an artwork with a limited color palette so that they could actually afford those extra colors in those details. But because there's extra colors and different colors in those areas, it actually took me quite a lot longer because I could have just uh, had, you know, just one color in the whole background and I could have used the multi-tool for that. So it did take me a lot longer because of those extra subtle details, but the results at the end were quite a lot better. So I feel like it was worth it. Another thing that I really like too is that the cat, the main, you know, focus in the artwork could have been just a pure black color. And to be honest, that's actually what I drew it with. But if you actually have a look at these diamonds, they are actually a very, very dark blue color. And I actually really like this because it works really nice with all of the oranges because they're complementary colors. And it just adds a lot more color and depth into the art. Same actually goes for the highlights on the cat as well. As you can see, they are purple as well as some whites and grays. And I really like that because if you know me, you know I love to just push a, an obscene amount of colour into my art. Now I do have to say this diamond painting did take me a very, very, very long time to actually complete. I actually did it over 12 days and it took me about mm, 160 gigabytes of footage to make this video. So that's quite a lot. And I didn't even film the whole time that I was doing this either. So if you're going to be doing a diamond painting of this size or larger, just know that it is a very, very long project and it's not something that you're going to be uh, finishing in an afternoon. But it is a really fun project to complete over a few days and uh, it is really fun to do. And those multi-tools really do help quite a lot, so I'm really glad that they actually supplied those. of this diamond painting and I have to say I love it and I love that I chose this artwork in particular to make as well because I actually don't own the original because I gave it to my friend Davey. So it was just cool to have something to keep. Now you may have realized that I actually did not complete one diamond painting in this video and that was because of a specific reason and that reason is I didn't have enough time to complete it. However, 
I'm actually going to be giving this away to one of you guys. Yes, I'm doing a giveaway. I didn't have the time to complete this one, but I did not want it to go to waste because it is a pretty cool looking diamond painting. And this is just a cool opportunity for me to give back to you guys. So how do you enter? Just go to twitter.com and send me a tweet with the amount of days that it took for me to complete this, as well as the words pumpkin cat. It's a race, so the first person that does it will get it. And thank you so much to Spell Queen for sending me these amazing diamond paintings. I was very, very surprised with the quality and all of the tools that came with it as well. If you want to get some of these for yourself, go to spellqueen.com and get yourself some awesome diamond paintings because you will be happy with the quality. And thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please stay safe and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.